Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Crafting Motion video. Today we're actually going to be looking at doing a few short Java lessons, um, which are going to help with the Minecraft modding series, and also help you learn Java a little bit better. And basically Java is used in both, both on the operating system, as we've seen it can be used in things like games, so we've got Minecraft for example. Um, and then it can also be used in browser, so we've got things like, I don't know, a good example. A popular game is, for example, RuneScape. RuneScape does use Java. Um, so basically, what, what you want to do first is, in this episode we'll be covering how to set up Eclipse with your Java development kit as well. Um, and then in the second episode we'll do a little bit of coding into the Hello World message, which is what you really want to do every time you start doing a coding language. Anyway, to start off with, what you want to do is you want to go to the first link in the description, which should be for Java JDK. And when you go to that link, you'll come with, to this page, and this page will have all these different links and stuff like that. You want to scroll down, and you want to go to the one which says JDK and click download. Then you can scroll down again and you want to go to the top section and choose Windows 64 if you're on 64-bit, which I am, or Windows 86 if you're on 32-bit. So you need to accept the license agreement up here first and then click on your download. Then it should download automatically down here. While that's downloading, you also want to close that and we'll come back to the Eclipse download afterwards actually. So we will wait for that to download, I'll be back in a second. So now that's downloaded, um, I can now run this file, the JDK, and it'll come up with some tooltips where you can just keep clicking next, uh, make sure you untick any boxes where you don't want toolbars and stuff like that. I'm not sure that there is any, but they do like to slip in things like that sometimes. And it's just going to install the JDK for you. Now, this won't be it with the JDK, we will have to change some other things because unfortunately it doesn't set it up all for us, we've just got to add a few more things to it. So we'll just wait for that to install, it's just extracting the installer. Now one thing I did notice is when I went to the downloads page on Eclipse, the downloads do seem to be down at the moment, which doesn't really help, they do seem to be up for Mac, so I wonder if I can do it this way. Oh, Windows 64 bit for the classic edition. Yep, that's what I want. So if your Eclipse website is down for, for Windows, click on Mac, go to Standard, then over here, go on the 64 bit or whatever you were on, and then you should be able to get through it that, to it that way. Mine's just gone off again, actually. All right, so now the Java JDK is done, we can click Close. Now what we need to do is we need to set up the path for this, and to do this we go to computer, in fact, should I say, right click computer, go properties, advanced system settings, externally advanced tab, and go on environment variables down here. Then we want to go down on the bottom bit on system variables, not on the top, to path, not path text, to path. Now if you've followed my Minecraft modding series, you will have already probably done this, um, so bear in mind you don't have to do this again. You click on this path here to edit it, and then you have the variable value at the bottom and a path name at the top. And what we want to do is after all this, just put a semicolon, and then you have to put the directory for Java. So we need to find the directory, so we go computer disk drive, your, I mean not your disk drive, your hard drive, program files, Java, enter your JDK and then into the bin folder and just copy that path, so control C and put it after that semicolon, click OK, click OK again and you should be good to go. Now to check that this has worked you type in CMD into your run bar and then go on Java C and all this text should come up if it comes up with some sort of internal Java exception or something like that. It means you've done it wrong. Um, so yeah, you just need to do it again if you've done it wrong really. That's the only thing I can say because mine always seems to work. So once you've done that, that is your JDK. So the next thing to do is to download 
Eclipse. So we can go to this download here, download this, and it'll download a WinRAR file here. So I'll bear it back just while that downloads. So now that my Eclipse is downloaded, we can click on the RAR file, on the zip file, and we can extract that to our desktop. And that's going to leave us with a folder on our desktop, close it now, called Eclipse, which has all the installation files and things like that for Eclipse, which we'll see shortly. So once it's done, it's completely done, so we can open Eclipse. We can now right click that, we're going to be using Eclipse a lot, this is the Eclipse.exe file. Uh, we want to pin that to our taskbar because, well, we will be using that a lot, hopefully. And we can run that. Now, Eclipse is basically an IDE in which we can create all our Java classes and compile them. So it just makes things a lot easier to do. Uh, and we need a workspace. So my workspace is just going to be actually in libraries, documents. I'm going to call my workspace tutorial workspace. OK, so that's in my documents, click OK. And that's going to create our workspace for us. So here we have, Eclipse is now open. Now this has changed. So we can close that with a cross, and here we have Eclipse. Now there's a few things you need to know about Eclipse. It works with classes, basically. That's with Java, sorry, not just with Eclipse. You have packages and you have classes. Packages are what hold classes basically and you also have projects as well so we'll go into that more next video when we're going to create a basic program well basic string of code basically um, which says hey, hello world which is what you usually do basically when you just start learning out code it's always hello world so we'll do that next time guys in episode 2 of learning java subscribe like and comment